How's your day going? Good. What have you done? Well, we are sailing now to a little island, but I can't remember. I can't remember what it's called. We set off a little bit late, what? set off about eight. But... I'm Nikki, and this is my gorgeous family. Chris, Bo, Bear, and our salty sea dog, <laughs> Come We're here. sailing around the world on pickle. An old catamaran we bought and did up <laughs> after my major life-changing moment when I caught meningitis. Subscribe and enjoy the ride. We're going, are we? I want as well. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's so good. But, um, our we've been getting orange through the water. So after a bit of, well, not investigation, we need to fill the tanks for anyway, so I filled the tanks up and the seagull fill has started slowing right down. So the water, the drinking water is just trickling out. So I took the filters out to change well, to have a look at them, and they're all packed with orange. So maybe we thought there might have been some in the tanks. Bit of bacteria growing maybe? Maybe. So Nicky decided, you decided, Nicky yeah. decided, to put a bit of bleach in. But I sort of overdid it a bit with bleach and literally when I would turn the tap on it, we're coming out like, <laughs> yeah. Frothy. Frothy. And but thinking like a swimming pool. It was about 100 to 1 bleach and it was like burning my skin. So it, it wasn't it, burning your skin, don't you, so Cedric? It really want to keep brushing the face and brushing the teeth with that. With so the grey water, yeah. We had to empty it all out. Empty it all out this morning, all 500 litres, sort of by hand. Build. And build. Yeah. And then uh, fill them back up. So, but I, I think what it is, it, it wasn't, I don't think it's mixed up going in the tank. The pressure cylinder that keeps pressure in it, I don't know, actually know what it's called. So if anybody knows what that's called, coming to welcome. I'll probably find out before then anyway. Um, I think it might be rusty inside and that's what the orange is. It's not coming from the drinking water, just the washing, washing water. Anyway, so we're on the way to the islands and we're doing... We're going to LD Grooks, is it? Yeah. I think it's that. It's not like that. And we've just left Les Conil. Les Conil, yeah, which is a nice day. Les Conil, very expensive though. Not really. For a motel, it's not too bad. It was quite reasonable. It was 46 euros, I think, for the night. But we've only got about seven, eight knots of wind. We're but we're doing, doing... We're doing about four knots. Yeah. It's okay. Doing about four knots, sailing with the wind. We keep weighing up whether we should put a light wind sail up, but we haven't done that yet. But I'm just a bit cheeky. And to be honest, I feel a bit off today. I'm... I'm, I ain't got a lot of energy. I don't He's got eebie-jeebies, I think. Eebie-jeebies from local water. water. Although you shouldn't really get it from seagull fruit anyway, but anyway. So, so we're yeah. just having a nice sail. There's no rush. We're doing four knots. It's fine in six knots of wind. So you can't moan at that, can you? I've got about 35 miles from start to finish. Yeah. So like a that. nice day sail. Yeah. We should get there before dark. No problem. Back nice dinner time. Nice sail. I'll round back. Lovely beach to anchor off, yeah. Hopefully. I don't so. like the marina. No, he moans uh, a lot about the dirty feet dirty, prints dirty of the day. Oh, he moans about everything now. Wherever we are, he moans. Noise. When we're at the beach, he'll moan about sand on the deck. So we say something he moans sleep. about. Oh, he's a moaner. I'd just rather be an anchor. But you're a moaner. Probably not dragging. But you'd like to moan. I moan a lot. <laughs> and stress a lot. I right. Definitely do that. There we go. That's what we're doing today then. There's the children again. Woo! <laughs> and the duck. Chilling in the cockpit because it was up early. <laughs> I went to a lovely little market yesterday, didn't I? We had a great time yeah. yesterday. Let me show you guys what I got yesterday. Yeah. We went to the market. I got it custom got... made. It's beautiful. You, you had that made, didn't you? You made it in front of us, and we got a, a bag with loads of mixed olives. olives. Yeah, that was. We're having that for dinner tonight. Yeah. Some pasta, some yeah. olives, some nice fresh pesto. It's going to be great. So, there we are. We're sailing. I can't see. I've put the glass on. Have a good time. And we'll vlog again later. Bye. 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 We're having a great sail. Are we? Yeah, it's sunny, it's warm, the seas are calm and flat, the wind is okay. It's, I don't know, 12 knots, maybe 10 knots. Yeah. It's, but we're doing a way over six knots. So we're all right. Look at this beautiful boat go. Yeah, we're way too heavy, we're always too heavy. Too many toys, too many clothes, too much water, too much food. We need to shed some weight and then we probably go a lot faster. And we're just cruising along, 
in like 10 knots, doing about six. Can't complain. We could put a light wind sail up, but this is okay. We're all right, we're happy. Had some lunch. Cooked up a bit of a stir fry noodly thing with some fresh French bread. La pan, it is so good. Yeah, all going really well. And we're early. I think we're gonna make it sooner than we hope to, even better. Chill out, drop the anchor. Good day. We're exploring. It's the most of it when you go into like them places in the deserts and there's them big rocks that have been carved into houses, <laughs> doesn't it? You got a little cave. Yeah. Well, don't go in there, obviously. But... Oh god, this literally is red sand. Yeah. Funny, isn't it? The sand is red. Red sandy beach. And it's like soft. It's so soft. Very beautiful. Ow! It's the different mineral minerals that grow. I think it's sandstone. But it's very, very, very soft. Even the rocks are soft. They're all smooth and soft, and aren't they? And you can chip bits off very easily. They feel like you're walking on polished wood. Look, like this. Yeah. <laughs> Stop doing that, you Nana. Know, no. Let's go back down here onto the beach. This, look. Yeah, I think you're right, look, because it's just crumbling away. Crystal clear waters and it's getting warmer. How warm is the it's sea now? 20 degrees. 20 degrees. Getting warmer. Hey. Going towards the warmth. Going towards oh, the wall. You're swimming tomorrow, Bear? Yep. Hell yes, yeah. you are. Hell yeah. Okay, it's going to be like southwest or something like Look, that, so it's going to be a little bit pink, windy. Pink, pink, windy, sand. But pink, isn't it? Oh my god, pink. Yeah, it's like ready pink. Huh? Yeah, it's like ready pink. Yeah, it's like ready pink. Yeah, it's like ready pink. I love you. Yeah, it's like ready pink. Yeah, it's ready pink. Yeah, it's like 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 ready pink. Yeah, Skimmer of the century. Ah, Be careful up there, bear. Where's boring daddy? What? Oh, there he is, boring. Yeah, daddy's grumpy. Daddy's always grumpy. Yeah, Come down this side really carefully then. Really carefully, please. You would. I don't know. Oh, no. Bear. No. <laughs> Bear, Bowser, don't run up there. Bear, go down where Bo going down, please. What are you doing, Bowser? What are you doing? What are you got your life jacket on for? Bear. <laughs> Interesting. Come on then. Um, what are you doing, rock climbing dog? You hurt your ankles? I'm not going to do that. No, come on then. Down you come. Nice and careful. We'll go down here where the dog goes. Careful. Do you realise how lucky you are, Bear? All these adventures. A bit better than being in school. Uh, it's a bit late for that. I think it's bedtime, baby. So what are you doing then, Nikke? What's it, goggles? <laughs> Onions makes my eyes water a lot. Like I cry masses of tears. Oh. Lost like songs. Look at you cook cooking down here, look. You can't see out a window. Yeah, well, it's a bit rough. 
So I'm trying to do something easy. So I'm doing some nice pasta with some stir fry vegetables, some onion, garlic, some spring green, courgette, peppers. Oh, now the onions are in my eyes because I took the goggles off. I've got some broccoli and cauliflower. And then we're making fresh bread and I've got some fresh pesto to mix it all in. Yummy, although the kids don't like our pesto, so I'll make theirs separately. We've well, got some lovely stuff different from French market. Yeah, it's a little bit spicy for the children, so I do that for us and I do them separately. Ah, that? Um, yeah, it should be really nice. It's just really hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard when it's rocking this much. Even in you, you think this is only a monohole problem, don't you? Yeah, not when you're really hitting your side on. It, yeah, it's not. It's not our only monohole problem because this is really hard work down here today. Well, at least you don't. Could you do with a gimbal on your stove? Yeah, no. My eyes are watering there really badly. I can't imagine what the monohole is. I should have kept my goggles on and look stupid. Goggles are definitely a must, guys, if you don't like onions in your eyes. Why is that not cooking? Yeah, see, look, I've got that. I use this look to try and conserve water and power of cooking. I cook my pasta underneath, use my steamer, steam the vegetables a little bit on top, chuck them in the stir fry, just so they're not quite al dente. I, I like them raw, but um, children like them completely raw or cooked. So and what's that there with the yellow lid, orange lid? This is some fresh olives we've got there for you, them up. What's that then? This is nutritional yeast. Um, it's a very important part of our diet. It's like putting Parmesan cheese on your spaghetti bolognese or whatever. Um, we sprinkle it on salads, on um, pasta, or well, anything. And anything. what's that high in? Or I put it, I put it in gravy. I, if I'm making like a shepherd's pie, vegetable, vegan shepherd's pie, I, I put it in that. And it's really high and rich in vitamin B12. And it tastes. It's also very tasty. It's very nice. Once you get used to the taste of these, it's got like a nutty flavour. When you get used to it cheesy nutty sort of flavour um, everything tastes good but it, it does take some adapting to vegan food and vegan cheese and vegan sauces and then you think they're amazing well they are amazing it looks like it looks like I'm zooming camera in and out on you but it's actually not it's the boat moving me yeah. backwards and forwards yeah. look at the vegetables moving yeah. so yeah so that's going to be our dinner oh my god so that oh. should be nice when it's cooked and and everything hopefully the kids oh won't be too god. sick to eat it guess what we I'm eat if they eat it they, oh they'll be alright Moldy Let me show you my vegetable hatch, guys, because I love this hatch. Oh, Let me yeah, just show yeah. you. Hang on, I'll tell you this, look. There's my vegetable hatch, so it's good. Up. So I unscrew it. There we go. You just lift it up like this. And then water splashes up and wets everyone through. Yeah, well, or you've, I haven't got that. Like, vegetable peelings, you put it down. But when it's very light and it's windy, it blows back up. You see, that's why we have a bit of an issue. I just drop it down like that. So all your vegetable peelings go to the fishes. And Woo! then you get wet when you've got it home when it's splashing, so... We'll put that back down quick, but look. It's just like a thing and it goes like that, goes like that, and you twist it and then you lock it down. And when we first set sail, we didn't lock it down, did we? Because we forgot how it worked. No, I don't think that's locked down enough actually. There you go, so it's a pretty cool vegetable hatch that, I love it. I just wanted to do a little video today because um, sailing is often portrayed as being all singing, all dancing, fun, and beautiful places, and paradise, and easy, and... Today uh, it's not bloody not. No, it's not, <laughs> and I don't think it is anyway, that, that as, as it's portrayed. I do, it is beautiful, and there is um, places that are like paradise, and um, yeah, it's, it's fun, and we do enjoy it, and obviously it's a really great life for the children to see these amazing places, and learn about new cultures, and history, and geography, and sailing, and... Oh, you know, you name it. But the reality is, on rainy days, when you're stuck on the boat, or there's very strong winds, or you're in very rolly anchorages, um, you can't really leave the vessel. It's not really safe, or you, you know, if you're not sure if you're dragging or anything, um, you're sort of stuck here. And um, the kids especially do suffer because they're feeling rather sick today. And we're in this anchorage. We did. I do research where we're going and anchorages. And we're in this anchorage, which was portrayed as being um, beautiful and great and nice and lovely. Um, and it, I think one of the reviews said um, slightly rolly. That might be a bit of an understatement. We've got some strong winds today. Well, it's not really windy now. It's no, we, uh, it isn't actually. The winds died down. Actually, the wind is less than it was um, predicted. But the anchorage is very rolly and um, it was very rainy and it's not a very nice day so you can't really get off and go anywhere. I'm not 100% sure if we've dragged back in the night, we're, we're a bit 
iffy about that. But as you can see, there's one poorly child there who's feeling very sick and horrible. Not that she's been sick, but she does feel very sick, which makes you feel really horrible because you feel like headed and you feel horrible. And there's the other one. The conditions calmed down. We had a beautiful sunset. The next day we sailed on to La Playa's Belly and we were joined by some wonderful dolphins. What are dolphins? Yeah. When does that come into play? There they come. Yeah. They're like dogs, aren't they? They're so playful. They're so beautiful. Oh, both up is looking up. Hello, dolphins! What are they? Porpoises? Bull nose? What sort of dolphins have we got? Porpoise? They're um, planning our bow waves, aren't they? <laughs> Can we or should we stay out here? How many times have you done that? Twice today. Not that bad though, but yeah, that was a little bit of a clump. I did make my teeth chatter like yesterday. I've got, I've got a big lump on my head, so from days ago, and it's on the door here, really, look, wooden door as you go through. You've got a big lump on your shit. I've got a massive tell lump on my shit. Tell people about that. Well, I, not a lot to tell. I was trying to get ball. in, I was trying to get in through really big um, rolling waves on the beach, so I could take the dog for a walk last night for a wee, and I had the kids with me, so the tender was all full, and then the tender engine suddenly kicked up like I'd hit sand, so I thought, Maybe I was shallower than I, was, than I thought I was, so I turned the engine off real quick and I lifted it up and then I realised that actually it wasn't that shallow, so it was like, I thought maybe we'd be washed back, so I jumped over to pull us in um, and it was like waist deep or just a bit lower, side deep maybe, and um, there was a sunk boat underneath the water, that's why the engine had hit, it hadn't hit half, the sand, it had it? It, it hit a, a half a sunken boat that was under the water still, but she didn't realise I landed on top of it. I thought actually at the time I'd like cracked my shin bone, I thought I'd broke it, but the pain was undescribable and I'm pretty damn good with pain. And I couldn't walk on it and then I started to drag the tender in with the dog and the kids in through the big waves and it was all a bit of a nightmare and um, yes, yeah, so it wasn't a very nice experience and my hole on my shin is sort of swollen got a great big like swollen mess i just got back to the boat as quickly as i could and put it up on pillow and iced it and i just kept changing the ice pack all night through the night um so i didn't sleep very well so i took some dicfanax some anti-inflammatory and um what have you and uh, yeah so but um i wasn't actually expecting it to be so good this morning this morning i can walk on it i can like put my weight on it just about so obviously i haven't cracked my shin bone or anything have i it's just very swollen and uncomfortable my ankle and foot's uncomfortable getting you know, like pins and needles and swelling in that life goes on and sailing certainly does continue the kids need amusing the dog needs walking i limp about on this very painful leg for quite a few weeks but i ice as much as possible and we still have a thoroughly good time. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Seaweed, that is seaweed. Don't know. Don't go too deep. You didn't rock climb with me, Posey. You're such a funny dog. Oh, 
I can see. Beautiful here, isn't it? After my little incident with um, coming in and being crashing waves and then obviously jumping out onto a sunbreak and hurting my leg, um, we've moved location and I can um, walk on it sort of just about. It feels a bit like shin splints, you know, like if you, if, you know when you jump from a really big height and you land heavily and it hurts in your shins, it feels like that except I'm walking normally. So I've obviously just done a shin bone, another line, I'll be okay. It's just very swollen and bruised and stuff. But I've been a little bit nervous coming in to be honest, if I'm honest, not that I say this, but I, I'm a bit honest, a bit scared about coming in those big rolling waves and jumping out with the dog and the kids and getting them all in safely. And yesterday on the big bloody wave on a beach that side, um, tentatively went in sideways. I wasn't at the helm, Chris was, and if for some reason when I turned it off, then the boat turned sideways and nearly flipped us all over. I, I picked the bear up by his life jacket and launched him literally at the beach so that if it turned over, it wouldn't be on top of him because he was on that side. Um, so, I've had a great experiences. So tonight I've come to walk the dog on my own. I didn't want to bring the children. I thought I did a big raise. I didn't want to risk anybody's getting hurt or life or, you know, it's a bit dramatic, isn't it? But I come to this beach, which we haven't been to, which is the main really beautiful beach at Belle Isle, at the La Palais or I don't know how you say it. Um, and I come in feeling quite nervous, which is not really me. I don't really get nerves or worry about anything. And, um... It is flat as a pancake. Like, it's the calmest little lapping beach you've ever seen in all your life. I've just had a lovely walk, even though it's hobbling and struggling a bit. Above the bay and along the top path there, I took a, a few pictures. I'll, I'll put, the, put them into this and so you can see them because it's very pretty. Um, yeah, and just look at the water. Look how... Look how. Ah, I don't know if you could see it lapping. It's so still. And it's not like it's slap water or anything. It's just beautiful. Thank you, God. I was obviously looking down on his Jesus who suffers for everybody else's sins tonight and decided I didn't need to suffer. And he's just boosted my confidence. Thank you very much. All is well with the world. Dog's happy. Children are playing on the boat. They're happy. We even had a little mini roast dinner tonight, which was nice. Did some work. Look at this beautiful, beautiful beach that everybody talks about. Turquoise waters, warm-ish, definitely swimmable. Yeah. It's just a lovely, lovely day. Apparently it gets all rainy and horrible tonight and high winds and tomorrow's going to be crappy. There's a wave breaking. That's telling me not to be so cocky, isn't it? But um, yeah, and then maybe Sunday we're considering just going for it and going straight across the Baby's Cay. Maybe going to Gijon. We're taking quite a while day hopping down here. I think maybe we should just get on with it. There's some nice mild weather. There's high pressure after this low pressure, so it might be the time to go. We'll see. I've talked him into it. So we hopefully we'll be going for it. We'll see. We'll just keep watching the weather. So keep tuned, keep watching, keep liking and subscribing. And uh, yeah, follow us and then you'll see what's going on. Okay. There we go. Bye bye, Moza. <laughs> Join us next episode when we finally sail across the Bay of Biscay. Thanks for watching.